Sister Asia from the KSA brought up a very important matter, which is how everyone nowadays, you know, w when somebody opens a shop and it prospers and he's doing good business, even if he's selling toys, you find 10 other people open next to him and they start selling the same. Uh, it's not really regulated. When it comes to hijama, uh, it's, uh, that's a professional business. And uh, it should be done under medical supervision because you gotta ask the patient first whether he's diabetic or not. You cannot make incisions for a diabetic person. And you gotta keep in mind many other considerations such as uh, uh, infectious diseases. And the person has to be aware of the hygienic process of operating. It's an operation whether, you know. Correct. Uh, um, so we really see a lot of people just do it also the spots as where to do the cupping you know when somebody's saying i'm having a, a lower back pain so they just do it on the lower part anywhere and that's it and this uh, this process the cupping is a science and it is taught in medical schools so is it okay for any person just to uh, you know to be acquainted or to watch a video online you know Sheikh Hassan, even the incisions that a person makes with the uh, uh, with the blade it's a very sharp one, you know, 45 angle, the degree, uh, 45 degree. Uh, it should be superficial, it shouldn't be deep incisions, uh, things like that. You cannot learn it by watching a couple of videos online. You don't don't talk to me, <laughs> you're the doc. So <laughs> you, you answer this because I have no idea and I don't answer things uh. that I have no idea in. So you definitely, the way you painted it, man, I'm not going except with someone with a certificate. The yes. problem is not in, in here. As you've stated, I get people saying we went for hijama and the person doing hijama did ruqya and then he's selling me uh, uh, things to cure me from the jinn possession. I have. Oh, subhanallah, this is not hijama, this that's is plugging booming, someone. That's a booming business. Y they plug people to a screen and then they say, oh, okay, you have three jinn, two Jews and one Catholic. Mm. And they wouldn't like you when you say, well, you're perfectly okay. You're not being possessed by the jinn. You're, you're not a good you're only in the brain. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, no, no. You're, you're not a good one. You, 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 don't know, uh, you don't know anything about this business. They like the people who tell them, uh, specifically mention names and stories of the unseen that no mm. one have no clue about, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's very obvious. Yesterday, um, as I was leaving the masjid, somebody stopped me and he said that I was diagnosed with this disease and I was uh, recommended by the doctor that I need to undergo a surgery and it is eminently needed. So some people say that go for hijama. I went for hijama and somebody did hijama for me and also branding. A'udhu billah. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. And uh, he's asking me, is it halal or haram? I said, wouldn't it be much smarter to have asked before you go for it? That's my reply. Mm. Second, I said, and how do you feel now? He said, worse. <laughs> you know, because it's been one month I've been treated from the branding. The burn is so huge and it doesn't seem to heal, okay? So why don't you ask before you act, especially with a serious decision like that. Subhanallah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Tadawaw ibad Allahi wa la tatadawaw bi muharram. So the Almighty Allah afflicted and tested the people with certain diseases, and he did not create a disease without a treatment. Only the professionals know it, those who spent plenty of time learning and studying. So, uh, you know, consult the consultant, Correct. the specialist in the field of medicine, not because you are a doctor, you can treat any cases. You go to a, a pulmonarist and you have a problem, a stone kidney, uh, a kidney stone. He says, well, this is none of my business. Then he refers you to a nephrologist. Everybody is specialized in a particular field. He doesn't transgress because Khalas, that has become his speciality. Likewise, when, when it comes to treatment with the herbs, you know, in um, my, my major originally, Sheikh Asim, was I was specialized in uh, the medicinal plants or what is known as pharmacognosy. It's a vast knowledge. It's like an ocean Mashallah. without shore. And it's very interesting and amazing. You go to um, the guy who sells herbs. Attar. Attar. Mm. He gives you a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a sinna leaves and says you mix them and you drink them. You know, some of these, even sinna leaves, you, you don't think it is safe to... Uh, you, can, oh, no. mm. you, you can overdose yourself. 
and it can be purgative. You know, you mm. just meant to relieve yourself. It, 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 it can be very dangerous. And a lot of uh, herbs and uh, pharmaceutical plants, it must be, uh, be taken under medical supervision. In the United States, there are about five medical schools called homeopathy. You mm. graduate as an MD, you prescribe medication, but the herbs, it's a science. Not everyone just gives you a pack and uh, boil this or even the process of boiling or mixing, there's something called maceration or decoction. Every drug or every plant uh, has a specific way to treat it. So my advice or our ad advice to the viewers, yeah, the Prophet said, fi thalatha. And he advised drinking honey. Uh, either you uh, uh, dissolve it in water and you drink it, especially early morning is very useful. And shartatu mihjam, the incision of the cupping. And the Prophet ﷺ recommended this too. And he forbade the branding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us what is best.